It's day 65. You're going to use your knowledge of object orientation to store characters in my video game. So my video game needs to have a character. Your character is going to store name, health, and magic points. When it initializes itself, it's going to need all three of those things. And it's going to have a method to print out that data. We're then going to inherit from that to create a player character. The player character should have an amount of lives in addition to everything there and should have an extra method, which is called am I alive, which just checks to make sure that character is alive and reports back yes or no. We're also going to inherit from our character for an enemy. Now, an enemy should have a type as well. So we know what type of enemy it is and it should have a strength. So we know how much it can hit the player character. We're then going to have two more kinds of inheritance from enemy. We're going to have a specific enemy type called an orc, which has a speed value as well as everything else, and a vampire, which is going to have a tracker for whether it's the day or the night. You're then going to instantiate this. So I've got one player character, two vampires, and three orcs. Give them names you want. Print out their values to show they're working. If you need help, you can go to our ask.replit.com forum and ask in the 100 days of code section. You can join me live every other Wednesday for Replit 101 and Coding Helpline, where I can help you solve your problems live. Or you could go to our Discord, where there's a bunch of cool people desperate to help you out with your coding problems. When you're done, share it with us by publishing it the community and use the hashtag Replit 100 days of code so that we can find it on social media. Tomorrow, we're going to start building user interfaces with like graphics and stuff, buttons. Thank <music> you.